we're over at the hike stand at the APF 2018. I'm with Simon. Nice to meet you, Simon. Nice, Tom. I know hikes. I've just recently launched a new boot, the Protector Timber. What is special about this boot and what changes are there over the other boots? What we were trying to aim for with the Timber is having a much more versatile product that's lightweight, um, good in the tree, and it's good on the ground. Um, one of the key features is new is the sole. Um, it's a brand new Vibramount sole we're using. SRC slip resistance, great traction in the forepart on the heel, um, and also you can see the way the angles of the tread, the dirt will easily flow away from the sole unit. So looking at the boot Simon, the first thing that I've noticed is really lightweight compared yep. to the other boots on the market. Um, how much does the boot actually weigh? Um, the weight is size 9, which is a kind of standard measure, is 1,100 grams, so 1.1 kilos in one boot. So that's the current weight. What I will stress at the moment, it's still a working prototype. Um, the product is launched early 2019, um, but that's where it's weighing in at the moment. But that's certainly what we want to try and achieve, is a product that is lighter than anything else you can get in the marketplace. So will the protective timber be coming in different types of colours or is this the only at one? At the moment we're sticking with the one colour um, and then we'll kind of have a look at the marketplace and see if more colours are required but we're certainly launching with just the one colourway when we launch it. Any ideas on retail price when it comes out? Not yet, it's still in the testing phase. I mean it's going to be around the area of the rest of our product range so around the £200 mark, £200 plus um, in the same way that the protector ultra, the protector forest are. So with the range, what actually goes into the development process and how the boots are tested to? We start starts obviously with an idea, so we talk to a lot of the forestry guys, talk to a lot of arborists to get their feelings about the current products and see what they want to change. Um, goes to a drawing stage, then we make a first prototype. That's when we then have to do the, the, the lab tests first and foremost to make sure that it meets the standards. But then we get them onto people's feet. So this is currently where this boot is at now. We have a few key guys that we trust who are testing it, who are wearing it in the tree um, and on the ground and putting it through its paces. So I know this isn't the same boot, this yeah. is the Protector Ultra. Yeah. Tell us about the different layers that make up the Hikes range, the Hikes yeah. boots. Within, within the sole unit you have the outsole, which is a uh, Vibram rubber outsole, so that's where you get your slip resistance, your fuel and oil resistance. And then we use polyurethane in here, so you've got the different densities of polyurethane within the sole unit. The polyurethane is a kind of it's a blown uh, product that puts air into it and gives it like, plenty of cushioning. We then have the plastic through here, so this TPU that comes all the way through in the sole. That gives rigidity in the sole. Um, it takes away pressure, so it, it makes sure the pressure points are spread evenly across the whole of the foot. Then you can see the steel toe cap in the in the toe area, and then you can see the Kevlar insert all the way through the upper as well, the Kevlar insert being the, the chainsaw protection. Alright Simon, thank you very much for showing us the new boot and learning no a bit more about height.